representative of National Unity Government of Myanmar. Ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't need any introduction. Please welcome Dr. Chao Shui. This is the last fight. So, my cabinet member, Kong Bahanta, the deputy minister for human rights, his father was a student activist in Yangon University in the early 1960s. After the military coup in 1962, his father joined Amstrad, Amstrad, and then set up a new Karan party, Ikeyan party. Yeah. And then my father was also a student activist in early 1950s in Yangon University. He was a executive committee member, secretary, and vice president of the Yangon Student Union, Bangladesh League University Student Union. And then my father joined an internal peace committee uh, set up by the Kiko Ramai and then the general, superior general Chozo. So in 1988, I was a uh, final year with the students, and then I joined the, 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 the site, like others. My father became a founding member of the NLD. Now, 2021, military could have been again a third cycle of the military dictatorship. So the country, and then now you you see the this office. I came to here with my test booking. Every item here, including papers, stationeries, bags, everything, donated by community. And then we try to set up the office since uh, February, early this year. CRPs and UP support groups across the, the country, they organize series of fundraising activities, fundraising events, and then the project. And now they, they rent this house, very nice house. So when in in May we had a very serious discussion with CRP support from the team member. So I don't want to put so much burden on my colleagues regarding raising funds. So I told them just hire a shared office space. It's cheaper, and then I can find an appropriate uh, accommodation spot for me, and I can work here. All my colleagues didn't agree. No, 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 no. We're going to find a nice place. That should be in diplomat area in Canberra. The UG government is our government. So the place should be appropriate for a government. So that is why finally we got this place. They prepare and bring them nice food, glasses, and then even the glasses, we don't know, we don't use this photo. We use proper <laughs> So this, this is their dedication, their commitment, and their uh, good will on the on the course. So now it's my turn. We are very uh, responsible and very responsive and very committed. So because of this is the last fight. So I like to pledge here. I promise you. I try my best. For the people of Myanmar, also I. Um, also, I am an Australian citizen. So when I came here in 2008, and I learned a lot about multiculturalism, also the Australia education system, how to build up, how to maintain, how to facilitate the community cohesion. Also, we got to learn about the. Federalism and federal. So now, Bam is Australian here. We have a huge opportunity to re contribute and return the country of our origin. Because now we are struggling and fighting against the military junta. But in later stage, we do need a lot of. We do need to 
contribute a lot for the nation building. Mm. So this is a really great moment, but there are a lot of steps ahead. But I do seek your support as it is. And then also I really like to, like to thank politicians, Senator David Fawcett, Senator Sammy John, and then Mr. Peter Kuli. They are Speeches are very, very inspirational, encouragement, not only for me, all of us, and also the people of Nima and NUG. So, because of the ABC news about NUG office was set up, and then the government official will attend, they shake up the Nima a lot. A lot of social Nima in, in, in Facebook, you find the Nima people, they sharing this news and they are deciding that. that significant moment for the country. So, in conclusion, I really like to thank you all for making this happen and can be here today. Your presence here is so meaningful for people of Myanmar and the NUG and then our Myanmar diaspora. Yeah, thank you so much.